my name is Coral Chernoff. I currently um, live in uh, Kodiak, Alaska. I've, um, I was raised there and in Montana. I spent some early years on the Northern Cheyenne Reservation where my mother's from. She's Plains Indian. And uh, my father was um, a Lutic Russian from Kodiak. What I do is I do a salmon skin leather process and I, I do it the same way that you would tan, um, do a brain tan buckskin. Um, which is an indigenous method um, from many parts of the United States and the world. Um, so I tried it on fish skin and it worked really well and I've seen in collections where it looks like they've made fish skin, what I call fish skin leather, as opposed to drying it. I made this bag out of fish skins um, and this is my brain tanned um, deer skin and I use it a lot and, and um, I try and I, I don't really try and, you know, treat it with like kid gloves. I pack it away and I stuff it in a bag and I'm actually extra hard on it because I want to, um, I want to make sure that um, the seams are durable and I'm just testing the durability of the product and the durability of the seams. Um, this is another method that I've used is um, alder bark tanning. Um, you see, I see it a lot in um, older objects and um, I've used seaming that I've seen in older objects. It's all sewn together with sinew. Uh, it's really important to me to learn all about um, the processes and everything they did. I'm just interested in all aspects of what I'm doing. The process, the functionality, the design work. Why are they seaming it like that? Like, is it necessary? Um, why do some things have some kind of a seam and some kind of a stitch? And the other other items have you see like with gut skin, they all seem to have the same kind of stitching and the same kind of seaming. And then on a fish skin, you'll see that same kind of stitching, but a different kind of seaming. In teaching a class, when somebody asks a question, I would like to have an answer. You know, there's kind of a, a break in this knowledge about this material. So on having to learn on my own. Um, I have to test everything. That's the only way. Um, you know, our ancestors, the people that come before us, do all the testing. And so when things are passed down, like um, my, you know, my mom's berry pie recipe, it's already been tried and true and tested, and you do it just like that, and you're going to turn out with the same thing. You know, um, recipes are passed on in that way. Knowledge is passed on in that way. Family history is passed on in that way. So we've just had a break in this, and so this hasn't been passed on. So I've had to go and figure it all out. I can pull with all my strength and I've never been able to rip a fish skin. I've done a little um, waterproof testing and it's pretty water resistant. I imagine it's windproof um, just because of the way the fibers lay and leather itself is pretty windproof because of all the way the fibers interconnect and it's accessible. You know, I live on Kodiak Island and um, I have just thousands of these available to me. When you look at an item, you can see um, processes. So from different areas, it seems like there may be different processing. And it sort of validates what I'm doing. It tells me whether the direction that I'm going is right or wrong or which direction that I have to go. I want to teach like I learn where it's culturally meaningful for me. So it's important that it have that aspect to it and it's culturally correct. This has been um, just so much better, I think, than any workshop I've been because it's more of, we're not taking one part of, um, of what I do. It's more of a whole picture. Like, um, I have my methods and what I do, and then I met with um, two other artists, and so we're um, comparing knowledge, and then we have three different methods there's not this kind of thing about there's a right way or a wrong way and we see all those methods in the collection and that's just so exciting and then we're meeting with people from the museum who also have a different kind of knowledge so all this knowledge is being combined together and used and learned from fish skin, fish skin in museums, fish skin design, cultural differences um, and the way we're also um, learning and then
teaching and passing it on, um, it's just more of a whole picture. And it feels more right. <laughs>